What's going on guys welcome back to the channel uh nice sunny day out here it's a sunday a little windy so hopefully the audio ain't messed up but uh last night i actually worked on my v-twin and i'll show you the progress so far i didn't get a video or anything of it but uh i got a i got a big mess going on right now so uh, she's apart so no Technically, there was nothing wrong with this engine, but it did smoke a little bit at idle. Um, or when you give it a little gas, it'd puff some blue smoke. No big deal. But I tore it apart. Um, I'm going to go ahead and have these cylinders honed and get, because there's like not really much crosshatch left in it. So I'm going to get the cylinders honed, toss some new rings in it, and throw it all back together. But I mean, these pistons look brand new in this thing. I think this engine was pretty low hour. Uh, where's the heads at? Oh, they're there. I have not cleaned these heads up. And this is what they look like, both of them. Probably the cleanest cylinder heads I've ever seen on an engine that probably has a dozen passes on it and tons of idling. But, uh, a while back during the season I was actually running uh, aircraft fuel AV whatever I think is what it's called AV fuel so I think that stuff has a lot of detergent in it and it just pretty much kept the cylinders clean but yeah we're gonna get it cleaned up get it honed I'll probably take it down there tomorrow <clears throat> and get some rings ordered for it um, and then we'll just start tossing her back together and then like i said all i gotta get is a clutch hub for the uh driver so i can put it in this tractor here's the driver uh i can find the other clutch hub here it is. this one is for a k series color like the one we got sitting over there and uh where did i do with the flywheel here it is if you notice this flywheel has a little taper or a little shelf to it so i'm gonna have the back of this uh hub machined out and that way it sits flush and then the four holes just mount it solid there but once i get that done i can put all this back together and uh, i ordered a remote uh oil filter relocation kit so that should be here sometime this week. That way I don't have to notch this side of the frame because, I mean, yeah, it's not a beautiful tractor, but I just don't want to notch the frame. Kind of like it sturdy as it is, but uh, I have an engine plate out back that came off of a V-twin that I'm gonna use. So we'll have to set the motor. Like, I think it's an inch and three eighths further down in the frame, but, that's about it. I've just been plugging away at this. I was I had my fingers crossed all night that there wasn't anything major in this thing, but I mean this crank. Let's bring these out here. This crank looks like brand new. So I think this engine was pretty low houred. It actually came off of a um, irrigation system, and it had some carb trouble up supposedly, and they just replaced the whole engine. So. That's how I got that, but yeah. So just waiting on parts now. I'm gonna take that down there tomorrow and get it honed out. I'll have to order some rings. I gotta order the rings still. But after I get all that stuff, we're gonna start plugging away, getting this in there. So that's all I got for today, guys. So we'll catch you on the next one. I'll probably make a video of putting this one back together and we'll catch you then. We'll see you later, peace.